What's going on everyone? It's your boy GR Special back with another video and this time I tried to do a little thing. It's Wednesday, comic book day, so I'm trying to do my um Comic Con recap video. Just a few different things I noticed and I wanted to talk about. So let's just get straight into it. First off, the film I'm getting most hyped for or one of the two films I'm most hyped for right now. Um Black Panther, they confirmed a few more cast members, uh, Michael B. Jordan, and don't want to butcher her name, but I know she's in Walking Dead, I don't want to butcher her name, Denai Gurira, I think, um, don't want to butcher it, and if I did, I apologise, um, yeah, really looking forward to that film, this MCU is just gone from strength to strength, and I'm really happy with the direction it's heading in. Um, obviously we've got more casting as well and um, finally Cara Danvers has actually been cast in MCU, it's Brie Larson who I didn't realise until did a bit of research that she was actually in Scott Pilgrim vs The World and she, I, I completely didn't even, I had to actually watch the film again and it's obviously a great film so no harm in doing that but yeah uh, we've got a second trailer for Doctor Strange which just looks like it's literally mind bending, shaping up really well um, can't wait to see that at the end of the year we got the villain confirmed for spider-man homecoming it's the vulture and that should be cool um a few a few different other casting for that film too so plenty to look forward to next year for mcu stuff um <sighs> moving on to dc uh really glad to see that justice league and wonder woman trailer uh, out of the two, I found the Wonder Woman trailer more impressive simply because I didn't know what to expect um, and I'm pleasantly surprised. It's always nice to be surprised by things where you're a little bit unsure and your mind's been put at ease. I feel at ease when I watched it. Yeah, just top-notch stuff. Um, I'm really looking forward to Justice League, actually, um, even though... I'm really hoping that it doesn't follow the same path that Batman vs Superman did but based on that trailer alone it looks like it's already learning a lot of lessons that Batman vs Superman made mistakes with in terms of tone it seems a lot more light I mean there was a lot more humor in that one trailer than there was in the entire Batman vs Superman film so that's a good sign and there was actually daytime like you know the day actually existed which was nice too um yeah so looking forward to that uh Whew, okay <laughs> yeah I noticed it's a little small thing but um that Marvel obviously they're going forward with more um phase three stuff and they've redesigned the logos for Thor and for Black Panther and for um Gardens of the Galaxy and for Captain Marvel 2 um I noticed that there's kind of like an 80s vibe with that with the Gardens of the Galaxy and especially Thor Ragnarok I, don't, I didn't know what to think initially. I felt like it kind of took away the seriousness of what Ragnarok is. Maybe they're trying to sh say something with that. Like it's not as doom and gloom as we're thinking it might be. But to be honest, I'm not really too concerned about that too much. So long as the film's awesome. And I know Hulk's going to be in it. And that he's even going to have a form of his um, armor from Planet Hulk too. So that should be absolutely amazing. Also, um, just a small another DC note that the Harlequin and Batman animated movies coming next year. That should be absolutely amazing. Um, that they've also... I'm just literally jumping from one point to the next here. That's why everything seems like it's just because I'm, I have a list and I'm just flying through the list. Yeah, there was um, <coughs> Flash Thompson, I believe was cast for Spider-Man Homecoming as well. So that should be really awesome. Um, but what I want to go back to... <laughs> I want to go back to that Captain Marvel casting I mean for me I didn't for a while I was kind of, me and a friend of mine were kind of just constantly going over people's names these different people's names who could probably play the role and I have to be honest Brie Larson's name never came up like I didn't actually know much about her to be honest so I was kind of like mm, you know Man's got to do the research again. I like, can't just be like, oh, that's good. I do trust Marvel, obviously. So it's not like I don't trust them. So I have to make sure by watching some of her stuff myself. But then I I didn't realise I'd already been in contact with her acting in the form of Scott Pilgrim as well. So 
yeah, I mean, I think obviously a lot of the films now that are in Marvel's future are starting to get a lot more solid. So yeah, you need to have casting. You can't not. You can't just have it be up in the air for so long. You need to have people's minds be set at ease. So yeah, I think that overall this well Concom's never really rubbish is it I mean especially now with like the whole film side as well as the comic book side so I'm probably uh, one of these days I want to go but you know man ain't got the peace for that you get me like, man, man gotta get the peace no but I just want to make a quick recap video of um a few different things from SEC but what I want to know is what you thought this is um comic con let me know man in the comments you know what to do with these videos man share like subscribe and all that beautiful stuff and i'll catch you lots later it's your boy man saying play around